Hey everyone, MFT Tom here, and welcome to Cube Tales, the place where you can find classic fairy tales with a Minecraft twist. Today's story is about Hoodie and the Cave Enderman by Tom Garzan and Kate Bush. Let's take a look at the tale Tom has chosen for today. So sit back and enjoy the tale of Hoodie, Zack, and a town called Snicklefart. Part 1. The Missing Items of Snicklefart Every night in the town of Snicklefart, things went missing, just out of thin air. Though the townspeople would wake up in the morning, their belongings would be gone. No one in the whole town had any clue where the items had disappeared to or why they were being taken. There was not any rhyme or reasoning as to what items were being taken. Farmer Dingle lost his shovel Mrs. Wigglewort lost her wig. And Mr. Clemens lost his prize bathing suit that was rainbow colored. Though he did not wear it anymore because it did not fit and it was always too cold to go swimming. He liked to hang it on his wall and look at it and remember the days when he was young. The townspeople had no idea what to do about these annoying thefts, but chose to take it in stride as part of living in the strange overworld. Many tried to find where their items had gone, to no avail. They were simply gone. A feeling of worry began to creep across the town, and many became distraught over what would be taken next and if they would ever see their beloved items again. All of this worry, and nothing was being done. Many just believed if they left well enough alone, that it would resolve itself. All except one little boy named Zack. He had decided that he would solve the underlying cause of this mystery, and find the lost items while also hoping to prevent more from being taken. Zack was a very smart boy, but as he was so young, many felt he was not worth listening to. He was shorter than average, with sky blue eyes and shiny blonde hair. He was so different from anyone in the village that they all just pushed him away and ignored him. They did not like those that caused trouble by asking questions. Because of this, Zack did not have many friends and was always lonely. He tried so hard to help anyone he could to show them he was just a nice kid who wanted to share his crazy ideas. He would often spend his time trying to visit, but when turned away he would go to the tower and climb it. He would then sit and watch the town and the people who didn't want to be his friend. Being so smart, he realized things were only going missing at night. Therefore, when the sun went down, he would stay up to see what was taking the townspeople's items, and surprisingly, he found the answer. Every night, the Endermen of the Creepy Creek Cave came out and snuck into the village, stealing anything they could from the people of Snicklefart. They would walk around town while the people slumbered, 
their black square arms carrying off anything of value. One of the Endermen was very different from the rest, and his name was Hoodie. Hoodie did not like the fact that the rest of his kind were stealing from the villagers of Snicklefart. He felt it was wrong and wanted to change what was going on. He often wore a green hunting shirt and red feather in his cap to be different, more like the people of the town of Snicklefart. One night, after the group of thieves had returned from an especially profitable trip, Hoodie decided to speak up and say something. Um, I don't think we should do this anymore, Hoodie said tentatively. What? Von Steelson, the leader of the cave endermen, looked at Hoodie in anger. We really don't need these items. Come on, there are plenty of other things we could go out and gather, right? Hoodie was feeling brave and stood his ground. It was time to let everyone in the group know how he felt. You have the audacity to talk back to me? To suggest we should do something that goes against my wishes? Von Steelson was angry. You are nothing but a goody-goody hoodie. You know nothing about how to be a real Enderman. We steal! We create chaos and havoc wherever we go! The other Endermen cheered on their leader, pointing their black, block-shaped hands at Hoodie and taunted him. They started to push him around, circling him and roughening him up. No, please, I'll do whatever you want! Hoodie was terrified of losing the only home he had ever known. If you want to stay, you will need to prove yourself. I demand you go to the town of Snicklefart and steal the mayor's left shoe. Von Steelson loomed over Hoodie while he cowered on the ground. If you can do that, and keep your mouth shut, then you can stay. All the others pushed Hoodie at once, shoving him out of the cave and into the cold, dark night alone. Hoodie wandered the woods for hours, knowing he had to find a way to get the shoe, but unable to abide by stealing. It was just not in him to be bad like that. On all the other thieving trips, he had always stayed back and been the lookout, never really having to steal. This was something that went against all he stood for. After hours of wandering, the sun started to come up and Hoodie headed back to the cave, without the mayor's left shoe. When he got there, the group gathered around him, taunting him for not having the required item to stay. They called him names like Goody Hoodie, Nicey Boy, and worst of all, the Red-Hearted Enderman, after him having such a big heart that he did not want to steal. After all, Endermen are dark-hearted through and through, and to have a red heart is not a good thing in their eyes. Von Steelson called a vote. Who all believes that Hoodie should be cast out, never to return? Hoodie cowered in the corner of the cave, his head hung in shame, knowing that he was losing the only home he had ever known. All the Endermen cheered, Yay! And with that, Hoodie was gone. Hoodie, the tribe has spoken. You are to leave here and never return. If you do, we will be forced to send you to the Enderman prison. Do you understand? Hoodie sniffled a bit. Yes, sir, I understand. Then he crawled slowly to the opening in the cave and climbed out. He was alone in the woods with no family or friends and no place to stay. How was he going to make it? After hours of wandering the woods, Hoodie watched the sun go down. He had been crying for a long time, but he could just not seem to stop, even though he felt he had no more tears left. Eventually, once the sun was completely set, and he was cold from not having the bodies of his fellow Endermen to keep warm, he curled underneath a bush. He had no idea how he was going to survive on his own, and he felt so alone. If only he had one friend in the world that he could rely on. 
<laughs> Finally giving up on ever finding a safe place to stay, he slept fitfully, letting out sobs here and there as he dreamt of the Enderman Cave, the only place he had ever known as home. Well, that's it, guys. Part one is done. What will happen next to Hoodie? Leave your ideas in the comments and tune into Cube Tales next Friday to find out. As always, please subscribe to our channel. The more you like it, the more people see it, and the more videos we can make. Also, don't forget you can buy the book Hoodie and the Cave Enderman by Tom Garzan and read along. It's available on Amazon.com for $3.99 in print and $1.99 for Kindle. I'll put the link in the description box below. And finally, a big thanks to Mac Jeffrey for his talented video skills. Thanks guys! See you next week!